brought to you by wikivd.com. Nobel Prize in Literature The Nobel Prize in Literature has been awarded annually since 1901 to an author from any country who has in the words of the will of Alfred Nobel produced in the field of literature the most outstanding work in an ideal direction. Though individual works are sometimes cited as being particularly noteworthy here work refers to an author's work as a whole. The Swedish Academy decides who, if anyone, will receive the prize in any given year. The Academy announces the name of the chosen laureate in early October. It is one of the five Nobel Prizes established by the will of Alfred Nobel in 1895. The others are the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, Nobel Prize in Physics, Nobel Peace Prize, and Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine. Although the Nobel Prize in Literature has become the world's most prestigious literature prize, the Swedish Academy has attracted significant criticism for its handling of the award. Many authors who have won the prize have fallen into obscurity while others rejected by the jury remain widely studied and read. The prize has become widely seen as a political one, a peace prize in literary disguise, whose judges are prejudiced against authors with different political tastes to them. Tim Parks has expressed skepticism that it is possible for Swedish professors to compare e a poet from Indonesia perhaps translated into English with a novelist from Cameroon perhaps available only in French and another who writes in Afrikaans but is published in German and Dutch. As of 2016, 16 of the 113 recipients have been of Scandinavian origin. The Academy has often been alleged to be biased towards European and in particular Swedish authors. Some such as Indian academic Sabari Mitra have noted that Though the Nobel Prize in Literature is significant and tends to overshadow other awards, it is not the only benchmark of literary excellence. Nobel's vague wording for the criteria for the prize has led to recurrent controversy. In the original Swedish, the word idealist translates as either idealistic or ideal. The Nobel Committee's interpretation has varied over the years. In recent years, this means a kind of idealism championing human rights on a broad scale. Background Alfred Nobel stipulated in his last will and testament that his money be used to create a series of prizes for those who confer the greatest benefit on mankind in physics, chemistry, peace, physiology and medicine and literature. Though Nobel wrote several wills, during his lifetime the last was written a little over a year before he died and signed at the Swedish-Norwegian club in Paris on 27 November 1895. Nobel bequeathed 94% of his total assets 31 million Swedish kroner to establish and endow the five Nobel Prizes. Due to the level of skepticism surrounding the will, it was not until 26 April 1897 that the Storting approved it. The executors of his will were Ragnar Solman and Rudolf Liljequist, who formed the Nobel Foundation to take care of Nobel's fortune and organize the prizes. The members of the Norwegian Nobel Committee that were to award the Peace Prize were appointed shortly after the will was approved. The prize awarding organizations followed the Karolinska Institute on the 7th of June, the Swedish Academy on the 9th of June, and the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences on the 11th of June. The Nobel Foundation then reached an agreement on guidelines for how the Nobel Prize should be awarded. In 1900, the Nobel Foundation's newly created statutes were promulgated by King Oscar II. According to Nobel's will, the Royal Swedish Academy was to award the prize in literature. Nomination Procedure Each year the Swedish Academy sends out requests for nominations of candidates for the Nobel Prize in Literature. 
members of the Academy, members of literature academies, and societies, professors of literature and language, former Nobel literature laureates, and the presidents of writers' organizations are all allowed to nominate a candidate. It is not permitted to nominate oneself. Thousands of requests are sent out each year, and about 220 proposals are returned. These proposals must be received by the Academy by the 1st of February after which they are examined by the Nobel Committee. By April, the Academy narrows the field to around 20 candidates. By May, a short list of five names is approved by the committee. The subsequent four months are then spent in reading and reviewing the works of the five candidates. In October, members of the Academy vote, and the candidate who receives more than half of the votes is named the Nobel Laureate in Literature. No one can get the prize without being on the list at least twice. Thus many of the same authors reappear and are reviewed repeatedly over the years. The Academy is master of 13 languages but when a candidate is shortlisted from an unknown language they call on translators and oath-sworn experts to provide samples of that writer. Other elements of the process are similar to that of other Nobel Prizes. Prizes a Literature Nobel Prize laureate earns a gold medal, a diploma bearing a citation, and a sum of money. The amount of money awarded depends on the income of the Nobel Foundation that year. If a prize is awarded to more than one laureate the money is either split evenly among them or, for three laureates it may be divided into a half and two quarters. If a prize is awarded jointly, to two or more laureates the money is split among them. The prize money of the Nobel Prize has been fluctuating since its inauguration but it stood at. Previously it was. This was not the first time the prize amount was decreased, beginning with a nominal value of in 1901 the nominal value has been as low as in 1945, but it has been uphill a stable since then peaking at a 2011 Swedish krona value of 11,659,016 in 2001. The laureate is also invited to give a lecture during Nobel Week in Stockholm. The highlight is the prize-giving ceremony and banquet on 10 December. It is the richest literary prize in the world by a large margin. Nobel Prize Medals The Nobel Prize Medals minted by Mindverket in Sweden and the Mint of Norway since 1902 are registered trademarks of the Nobel Foundation. Each medal features an image of Alfred Nobel in left profile on the obverse. The Nobel Prize Medals for Physics, Chemistry, Physiology and Medicine and Literature have identical obverses showing the image of Alfred Nobel and the years of his birth and death. Nobel's portrait also appears on the obverse of the Nobel Peace Prize Medal and the medal for the prize in economics but with a slightly different design. The image on the reverse of a medal varies according to the institution awarding the prize. The reverse sides of the Nobel Prize Medals for Chemistry and Physics share the same design. The medal for the Nobel Prize in Literature was designed by Eric Lindbergh. Nobel Prize Diplomas Nobel laureates receive a diploma directly from the King of Sweden. Each diploma is uniquely designed by the prize-awarding institutions. For the laureate that receives it, the diploma contains a picture and text that states the name of the laureate, and normally a citation of why they received the prize. Potential Candidates Potential recipients of the Nobel Prize in Literature are difficult to predict as nominations are kept secret for 50 years until they are publicly available. At the nomination database for the Nobel Prize in Literature, currently, only nominations submitted between 1901 and 1965 are available for public viewing. This secrecy has led to speculation about the next Nobel laureate. According to Professor Goran Malmkvist of the Swedish Academy Chinese writer Shen Kongwen was 
to have been awarded the 1988 Nobel Prize in Literature had he not suddenly died that year. Controversies about Nobel laureate selections from 1901 to 1912 the committee headed by the conservative Carl David Afwirse Acute N. weighed the literary quality of a work against its contribution towards humanity's struggle toward the ideal. Tolstoy, Ibsen, Zola, and Mark Twain were rejected in favor of authors Little Read today. Also, many believe Sweden's historic antipathy towards Russia is the reason neither Tolstoy nor Anton Chekhov was awarded the prize. During World War I and its immediate aftermath, the committee adopted a policy of neutrality favoring writers from non-combatant countries. August Strindberg was repeatedly bypassed by the committee, but holds the singular distinction of being awarded an anti-Nobel Prize conferred by popular acclaim and national subscription and presented to him in 1912 by future Prime Minister Hjalma Branting. James Joyce wrote the books that rank first and third on the Modern Library 100 Best Novels Ulysses and Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man but Joyce never won, as biographer Gordon Boker wrote. That prize was just out of Joyce's reach. The Academy considered Czech writer Karol Kapek's war with the Newts too offensive to the German government. He also declined to suggest some non-controversial publication that could be cited as an example of his work stating, Thank you for the goodwill but I have already written in my doctoral dissertation. He was thus denied the prize. The choice of Selma Lagerlöf as Nobel laureate in 1909 followed fierce debate because of her writing style and subject matter which broke literary decorums of the time. According to Swedish Academy archives studied by the newspaper Le Monde on their opening in 2008, French novelist and intellectual André Malraux was seriously considered for the prize in the 1950s. Malraux was competing with Albert Camus but was rejected several times, especially in 1954 and 1955 so long as he does not come back to novel. Thus, Camus was awarded the prize in 1957. Some attribute W. H. Auden's not being awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. Two errors in his translation of 1961 Peace Prize laureate Ag Hammarskjöld's Vagmarken and to statements that Auden made during a Scandinavian lecture tour suggesting that Hammarskjöld was, like Auden, homosexual. In 1962 John Steinbeck received the Nobel Prize for Literature. The selection was heavily criticized and described as one of the Academy's biggest mistakes. In one Swedish newspaper, the New York Times asked why the Nobel Committee gave the award to an author whose limited talent is in his best books watered down by tenth-rate philosophizing, adding we think it interesting that the laurel was not awarded to a writer whose significance, influence, and sheer body of work had already made a more profound impression on the literature of our age. Steinbeck himself when asked if he deserved the Nobel on the day of the announcement replied, Frankly, no. In 2012 the Nobel Prize opened its archives, and it was revealed that Steinbeck was a compromised choice. Among the shortlist consisting of Steinbeck British authors Robert Graves and Laurence Durrell, French dramatist Jean Annerell and Danish author Karen Blixen. The declassified documents showed that he was chosen as the best of a bad lot. There aren't any obvious candidates for the Nobel Prize, and the prize committee is in an unenviable situation, wrote committee member Henry Olson. In 1964 Jean-Paul Sartre was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature but he declined it, stating that it is not the same thing if I sign Jean-Paul Sartre or if I sign Jean-Paul Sartre. Nobel Prize laureate, a writer must refuse to allow himself to be transformed into an institution, even if it takes place in the most honorable form. 
Soviet dissident writer Alexander Solzhenitsyn, the 1970 Prize laureate, did not attend the Nobel Prize ceremony in Stockholm for fear that the USSR would prevent his return afterwards. After the Swedish government refused to honor Solzhenitsyn with a public award ceremony and lecture at its Moscow embassy, Solzhenitsyn refused the award altogether commenting that the conditions set by the Swedes were an insult to the Nobel Prize itself. Solzhenitsyn did not accept the award and prize money until 10 December 1974 after he was deported from the Soviet Union. In 1974, Graham Greene, Vladimir Nabokov and Saul Bellow were considered, but rejected in favor of a joint award for Swedish authors Iwin Johnson and Harry Martinson, both members of the Swedish Academy at the time and unknown outside their home country. Bello received the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1976, neither Green nor Nabokov was awarded it. Argentine writer Jorge Luis Borges was nominated for the prize several times but, as Edwin Williamson Borges biographer states the Academy did not award it to him most likely, because of his support of certain Argentine and Chilean right-wing military dictators including Augusto Pinochet which according to Toybin's review of Williamson's Borges, A Life, had complex social and personal contexts. Borges' failure to receive the Nobel Prize for his support of these right-wing dictators contrasts with the committee honoring writers who openly supported controversial left-wing dictatorships including Joseph Stalin in the cases of Sartre and Pablo Neruda also controversially. Gabriel Garcia Marquez supported the Cuban revolutionary and President Fidel Castro. The award to Italian performance artist Dario Fo in 1997 was initially considered rather lightweight by some critics as he was seen primarily as a performer and Catholic organizations saw the award. Tafo is controversial as he had previously been censured by the Roman Catholic Church. The Vatican newspaper L'Osservatore Romano expressed surprise at Foss' selection for the prize commenting that giving the prize to someone who is also the author of questionable works is beyond all imagination. Salman Rushdie and Arthur Miller had been strongly favored to receive the prize but the Nobel organizers were later quoted as saying that they would have been too predictable, too popular. Camilo José Sella willingly offered his services as an informer for Franco's regime, and had moved voluntarily from Madrid to Galicia during the Spanish Civil War in order to join the rebel forces there. An article by Miguel Angel Villena between fear and impunity which compiled commentaries by Spanish novelists on the noteworthy silence of the older generation of Spanish novelists on the Francoist pasts of public intellectuals appeared below a photograph of Sella during the Nobel ceremony in Stockholm in 1989. The choice of the 2004 laureate Elfrida Jelinek was protested by a member of the Swedish Academy Knut Arnland, who had not played an active role in the Academy since 1996. Arnland resigned, alleging that selecting Jelinek had caused irreparable damage to the reputation of the award. The selection of Harold Pinter for the prize in 2005 was delayed for a couple of days, apparently due to Arnland's resignation and led to renewed speculations about there being a political element in the Swedish Academy's awarding of the prize. Although Pinter was unable to give his controversial Nobel lecture in person because of ill health, he delivered it from a television studio on video projected on screens to an audience at the Swedish Academy in Stockholm. His comments have been the source of much commentary and debate. The issue of their political stance was also raised in response to the awards of the Nobel Prize in Literature to Orhin Pamuk and Doris Lessing in 2006 and 2007 respectively. 
The 2016 choice of Bob Dylan was the first time a musician and songwriter won the Nobel for Literature. The award caused some controversy, particularly among writers arguing that the literary merits of Dylan's work are not equal to those of some of his peers. Lebanese novelist Rabi Alamedine tweeted that Bob Dylan winning a Nobel in Literature is like Mrs. Fields being awarded three Michelin stars. The French Moroccan writer Pierre Assoline described the decision contemptuous of writers. In a live web chat hosted by The Guardian, Norwegian writer Karl Ove Narsgaard said that, I'm very divided. I love that the novel committee opens up for other kinds of literature lyrics and so on. I think that's brilliant. But knowing that Dylan is the same generation as Thomas Pinchy and Philip Roth Cormac McCarthy makes it very difficult for me to accept it. Scottish novelist Irvin Welsh said, I'm a Dylan fan but this is an ill-conceived nostalgia award wrenched from the rancid prostates of senile gibbering hippies. Dylan's songwriting peer and friend Leonard Cohen said that no prizes were necessary to recognize the greatness of the man who transformed pop music with records like Highway 61 revisited. To me Cohen said, the Nobel is like pinning a medal on Mount Everest for being the highest mountain. Writer and commentator Will Self wrote that the award cheapened Dylan whilst hoping the laureate would follow Sartre in rejecting the award. Nationality-based criticism The prizes focus on European men and Swedes in particular has been the subject of criticism even from Swedish newspapers. The majority of laureates have been European, with Sweden itself receiving more prizes than all of Asia as well as all of Latin America. In 2009 Horace Engerdahl, then the permanent secretary of the Academy, declared that Europe still is the center of the literary world and that the U.S. is too isolated to insular. They don't translate enough and don't really participate in the big dialogue of literature. In 2009 Engerdahl's replacement Peter Englund rejected this sentiment and acknowledged the Eurocentric nature of the award saying that I think that is a problem. We tend to relate more easily to literature written in Europe and in the European tradition. American critics are known to object that those from their own country like Philip Roth Thomas Pynchon and Cormac McCarthy have been overlooked, as have Latin Americans such as Jorge Luis Borges, Julio Cortázar and Carlos Fuentes. While in their place Europeans lesser known to that continent have triumphed. The 2009 award, to Herta Müller previously little known outside Germany but many times named favorite for the Nobel Prize reignited the viewpoint that the Swedish Academy was biased and Eurocentric. However the 2010 prize was awarded to Mario Vargas Llosa a native of Peru in South America, when the 2011 prize was awarded to the eminent Swedish poet Thomas Tranströmer. Permanent Secretary of the Swedish Academy Peter Englund said the prize was not decided based on politics describing such a notion as literature for dummies. The Swedish Academy awarded the next two prizes to non-Europeans Chinese author Mo Yan and Canadian short story writer Alice Munro. French writer Patrick Modiano's win in 2014 renewed questions of Eurocentrism, when asked by the Wall Street Journal so no American this year yet again. Why is that? England reminded Americans of the Canadian origins of the previous year's winner. The Academy's desire for literary quality, and the impossibility of rewarding everyone who deserves the prize. Overlooked literary achievements In the history of the Nobel Prize in Literature many literary achievements were overlooked, the literary historian K. J. L. S. Mark admitted that as to the early prizes, the censure of bad choices and blatant omissions is often justified. Tolstoy Ibsen and Henry James should have been rewarded instead of, for instance, Sully Prudhomme Yukon. 
and Hesse. There are omissions which are beyond the control of the Nobel Committee such as the early death of an author as was the case with Marcel Proust, Italo Calvino and Roberto Bolaño. According to KJLS, Mark, the main works of Kafka, Kavafi, and Pessoa were not published until after their deaths, and the true dimensions of Mandelstam's poetry were revealed above all in the unpublished poems that his wife saved from extinction and gave to the world long after he had perished in his Siberian exile. British novelist Tim Parks ascribed the never-ending controversy surrounding the decisions of the Nobel Committee to the essential silliness of the prize and our own foolishness at taking it seriously and noted that 18 Swedish nationals will have a certain credibility when weighing up works of Swedish literature, but what group could ever really get its mind round the infinitely varied work of scores of different traditions, and why should we ask them to do that? Similar international prizes The Nobel Prize in Literature is not the only literary prize, for which all nationalities are eligible. Other notable international literary prizes include the Neustadt International Prize for Literature, the Franz Kafka Prize, the Man Booker International Prize, and the recently reinstated Formentor Prize. In contrast to the other prizes mentioned, the Neustadt International Prize is awarded biennially. The journalist Hetzeber Anderson has noted that the Man Booker International Prize is fast becoming the more significant award appearing an ever more competent alternative to the Nobel. The Man Booker International Prize highlights one writer's overall contribution to fiction on the world stage and has literary excellence as its sole focus. Established in 2005, it is not yet possible to analyze its importance on potential future Nobel Prize in Literature laureates. Only Alice Munro has been awarded with both. However, some winners of the Man Booker International Prize such as Ishmael Kader and Philip Roth are considered contenders for the Nobel Prize in Literature. The Neustadt International Prize for Literature is regarded as one of the most prestigious international literary prizes, often referred to as the American equivalent to the Nobel Prize. Like the Nobel, or the Man Booker International Prize, it is awarded not for any one work but for an entire body of work. It is frequently seen as an indicator of who may be awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Cheslaw Milos, Octavio Paz, Thomas Tranströme were first awarded the Neustadt International Prize for Literature before being awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. Another award of note is the Spanish Princess of Asturias Award in Letters. During the first years of its existence it was almost exclusively awarded to writers in the Spanish language, but in more recent times writers in other languages have been awarded as well. Writers who have won both the Asturias Award in Letters and the Nobel Prize in Literature include Camilo José Seligan de Gras Doris Lessing and Mario Vargas Llosa. The America Award in Literature, which does not include a monetary prize, presents itself as an alternative to the Nobel Prize in Literature. To date Harold Pinter and Jose Saramago are the only writers to have received both the America Award and the Nobel Prize in Literature. There are also prizes for honoring the lifetime achievement of writers in specific languages like the Miguel de Cervantes Prize and the Camos Prize. Nobel laureates who were also awarded the Miguel de Cervantes Prize include Octavio Paz, Mario Vargas Llosa, and Camilo José Sela. José Saramigo is the only author to receive both the Camos Prize and the Nobel Prize to date. The Hans Christian Andersen Award is sometimes referred to as the Little Nobel. The award has earned this appellation since in a similar manner to the Nobel Prize in Literature. It recognizes the lifetime achievement of writers, though the Anderson Award focuses on a single category of literary works.
Brought to you by Wikivd.com. Would you like to know more?